Yo guys, Simon B1471 checking in with another video for you. So today I'm going to be bringing you some Battlefield Hardline gameplay and we're going to be talking about Battlefield 5. So if this is the first time you're checking out my channel and you've come across it through God knows however means that is, please hit that subscribe button or alternatively, once you've watched the video, if you've enjoyed it, please hit that like. So Battlefield 5, why am I really excited about Battlefield 5? Number one, it's been such a long time. We've had hold of Battlefield 4 for a hell of a long time now. I know that the Battlefield Hardline gameplay in the background is kind of a placeholder, but me as well as some of you guys commenting on my last video are actually saying that really it was a placeholder. It was a placeholder because Advanced Flop Fair, or should I call it by its proper title, Advanced Warfare was doing so bad, EA may have sniffed an opportunity to get some of the Call of Duty players to actually transfer into the Battlefield franchise by uh, giving them a game which is more a gun-on-gun -gun gameplay, getting them ready for Battlefield 5. Battlefield 4 is, however, a much greater and better game in general, or should I say factually, than Battlefield Hardline. Battlefield 4 is still, you know, heavily populated on the PC and on consoles. However, Battlefield Hardline, you don't really get as many players on the PC version of the game as you do on the console game, just due to the fact that the PC community are more hardcore and hence why Battlefield sells a lot more copies than what Call of Duty does on PC. So guys, if you were able to pick what era the game is going to be set in, please tell me in the comment section to this video which era you would want it to be set in. My own personal view is if I could choose I would have it in current day and that's what I'm hoping they're going to do. However, I would not be against it being set in the past era. However, I under no circumstances want another futuristic first person shooter game coming to consoles or PC anytime soon. The market is way oversaturated with that kind of stuff today. So us real gamers who actually want a real experience, please for the love of God, do not create another futuristic shooter. I know Battlefield 4, it was a mess when it was launched. Hopefully this time, DICE and EA get it right straight away, because that obviously pissed a lot of people off, made a lot of people not buy the game, and it put a lot of people off Battlefield 4, which in its current state is an absolutely fantastic game. And when you're actually playing the game, it's hard to believe that when this game was actually created and programmed, they had to do it so it would play on last-gen consoles as well. But this time with Battlefield 5, it is purely going to be on the PS4, the Xbox One, and obviously the PC, because the majority of people who play Battlefield are PC players. And ultimately, this time around, I think it's going to be amazing. I think there's going to be so much new stuff in there. I think the experience is going to be better than ever. I think the hit detection is going to be better than ever, even though Battlefield field in my examples it's not really ever had a problem with anything like that but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section but i feel five it's going to be amazing i'm hoping it's going to be in current day however i'm not against really it being set in the past era but please for the love of god do not let it be in the future because i would be greatly disappointed and i'm sure i'm speaking for most battlefield players here they will probably be greatly disappointed also so ea I know it's had a lot of bad rap. DICE are a great development team. I absolutely love them. You know, yes, they made a lot of mistakes with Battlefield 4, but at, at the end of the day, they admitted the mistakes, and that is what Call of Duty is lacking, and that is why me, mainly as a Call of Duty player, I'm hoping the Battlefield community can embrace me, you know, cuddle me, give me a cuddle, and just make me feel loved, because Wonderhar is shit at his job. Until next time, guys, bye for now.